Welcome to part two of this Q&A. I did the last Q&A on Sunday and it did pretty well. Everyone kind of wanted a, a new Q&A, a second Q&A. So I thought I would continue on the questions because I still had about 10 questions that I didn't get to answer. So I want to answer those. But before I get to answering these questions, if you haven't already subscribed, hit that subscribe button. And you know, my likes seem to have been going down. So let's get my likes back up for the YouTube algorithm all the way back up to, I don't know, 500 per video. That, that sounds like a good amount of likes. And uh, yeah, I don't want to, you know, waste any more time. We're 30 seconds into the video already. Let's just get cracking on with the Q&A. So first question here. I am a graphic designer with five years of experience. Can you get me a job? For real, man. Um, I can't get you a job. You can get you a job. But what I would say is if you're a graphic designer with five years experience, go and um, create a few jobs on Upwork, okay? Or or, or is it um, like any, any freelance website, basically. Go and post your your skills your jobs and you will you'll get work like that i mean i pay people to create designs for me even though i'm a designer it just saves me time so being a graphic designer you could easily charge 20 plus dollars an hour and that is an amazing side income if you can get 20 dollars an hour and work a couple of hours a day that's a great side income to build up eventually to go and create an amazon business or affiliate marketing business or a youtube channel or something but if you are a graphic designer with five years experience another thing you could do is start a youtube channel with tutorials on how to do graphic design. People would love to see that. I would watch that, right? So I would really watch that. So definitely consider doing something like that. Um, and that is the best way to do it. And again, also you've got Fiverr, you could post jobs on Fiverr, anything design related. Or if you want, you could speak to, you could start, you could probably hustle and ask people if they need websites done on Instagram, whatever. You could just message people, ask them if they need any graphic design help. It's all about, it's all about, you know, messaging people and getting yourself out there. Okay. How long it took for you to get consistent sales on Redbubble? I don't get consistent sales on Redbubble. Redbubble is all over the place. Um, it's completely and utterly random. And as I said in other videos and in comments, in, in terms of business levels, Amazon FBA is my most important. YouTube is my second most important. And our Amazon course is my third most important. Affiliate marketing is my fourth most important. And the print on demand is my fifth most important. And the reason for that is at this point in time, I'm on a humongous money saving binge because I want to be able to go and buy a house. I want to start investing in property. I want to, I want to do things, big things, right? So I'm focusing on the things that I enjoy the most and the things that pay me the most, right? So if I can find something that I enjoy the most and it happens to pay me the most, that's a win-win. So for example, YouTube, it doesn't pay me the most, but I enjoy it the most, which is why it's up there. Cause it's, I just, I absolutely love making these videos. Amazon FBA is up there because I just love making products and it pays well. And our course is up there because again, it's like these videos. I really, really love teaching. I, I went through horrible, horrible times in school and I hated my education in school. And I just thought I could do something a bit different the way I teach. And I like teaching a lot. So that's why we do the course. And again, the course pays well. Affiliate marketing is part of Amazon and it's not something that I enjoy. I don't enjoy, but it, it, it is very good. In terms of print on demand, I used to enjoy it big time. I still kind of enjoy it. I love designing, but it's very time consuming. And for the amount of time it takes for the pay it gets, I don't focus on it. I should focus on it a bit more, but I don't focus on it because it's not the top of my list. So I don't get consistent sales on Redbubble. I do get a few, but not nothing crazy. Um, so yeah, let's moving on. When will you make a video reviewing our stores and accounts? I'd appreciate a little help. Um, I, I do want to do this. I really want to do this. So at the moment, I'm just reviewing your designs every Saturday, right? It's on the show, are your designs any good? You can submit in the link below. But in terms of reviewing your entire stores, that is, those, that's a hard one because reviewing a store takes a lot longer and I could probably only review one or two stores per video. And I don't know if everyone wants to see me review someone else's store in a video because that's not, I don't know, like, we'll have to see about that. We'll have to see. Let me know in the comments if you like the idea of just watching me review someone else's store. Um, I don't know if that's a thing. Oh wow, this person asked a lot of questions. Abihail.shop. How can I increase my pop my sales on print on demand? I've created an Insta, but I'm not growing as fast as everyone. Well, I don't know how fast you're you're growing, and also don't compare yourself to other people. Like by saying you're not growing as fast as everyone, what does that mean? Who cares? Don't don't focus on other people, focus on yourself. And secondly, um if you're just doing free free methods of growing, it's going to take you a long time. A long time. None of this is instant, okay? This is this is this is far from instant. Um, so 
I never know if the mic is working. It's really annoying me because uh, I can't see it because of the screen. Anyways, um, yeah, it's impossible to say how long this is going to take. It's impossible to say how you can increase it. What I would say is make sure your tags are good on Redbubble. Make sure you, you spread yourself on Redbubble, Teespring, um, Merch by Amazon, maybe a few others if you want. And then make sure you're doing Instagram, make sure you're doing Pinterest. Pinterest is a big one. Make sure you're doing Facebook. And then if you really want to speed it up, then do a few ads. But then you're really going to be eating into your profit margins there. And then another question from the same person. You are on fire. Do you think Pinterest is a good idea for pod marketing? Yes. Very simply, yes. It's a brilliant idea. Especially for the type of people that go on Pinterest. And also Etsy. Don't forget about Etsy. I didn't mention that in the previous answer. But Etsy is another way to, um, you know, spread yourself. Launching a brand with expensive products, good or bad idea? Um, I, don't, I don't see why it's a bad idea. I mean, if you're launching a brand, you've got to understand it, where are you launching it? Are you launching it on Amazon? Or are you launching it on your website? If you're launching it on your website, you're going to need a lot of marketing, a lot of promotional material to get the word out there, especially if it's a brand new brand. You've got places like Indiegogo and Kickstarter where you can launch a brand, but if you're just launching, you're going to need a lot of advertisement to get the word out there expensive or not expensive product i don't think that makes a difference because if you're if you're marketing you just have to market to the right audience and then you're absolutely fine doesn't matter how much the item costs what are the best selling colors for each item in print on demand i think it might be different depending on the site um i i, I can't tell you the best selling colors i can tell you that black is a very popular color red is a pretty popular color and so is blue but to be honest, the main colors are black and white. They're going to be the most popular colors because that's just what people want to wear. Black is probably the most popular color. But I can't tell you how popular individual websites, what colors are popular individual websites. I don't know that information. I don't think anyone does. Right. How much time does it usually take to sell a design of a trending topic on Redbubble? I don't know because it's, 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 so, it's so random. I mean, if it's a, a trending design at that point in time and you launch it, you could start seeing sales straight away. You could start seeing sales after a couple of days or you might not see any sales and then and the trend dies and then you just don't get any sales from it. So it's really hard to pinpoint a, a set time on when you're going to get sales. And I don't ever like doing that because I don't want to put any false hope in your mind. I would say if you find a trending topic, make the design, upload it. And if you get sales, then brilliant. But like, don't... Give yourself a time that you have to get sales by because you could just dis you could be disappointed. Should we release an ad campaign on Facebook for our first t-shirts? Have a good day. You too have a good day. Thank you. Um, I used to do this. Um, the only issue is now things are a lot more expensive, especially ads and t-shirts. So it really eats into your profit margins by doing this. So I wouldn't necessarily do this unless you're maybe selling hoodies. Okay, because hoodies can you can sell for thirty dollars and that's a lot more money. Um, but look, if you want to do, if you want to get immediate sales, then this is the way to go. But you might just break even for a bit before you start getting organic sales. That's what I would say. Ecom freak, net worth question mark. I have no idea. I don't even know how to work out a net worth. Is it based on assets? I've never worked out my net worth, so I have no idea. Is it? I mean, if it's based on assets, monthly income times by anything or just monthly income and then how much in the bank account how much my businesses are worth i don't i don't know how to work it out um sorry would you recommend youtube for a high school student yes brilliant question yes a thousand times yes i've actually got a video coming out on this if you're in high school you have a bit more time on your hands you're passionate about so many different topics and you you, you can, you've got the time. Like It doesn't matter if it takes three or four years to succeed with YouTube, you've got the time. So 100% yes, because by the time you finish high school, you could have a successful YouTube channel that is a pretty much a full income for you. Look at people like David Dobrik or um, oh, there's Mr. Beast. There's so many people who started, in, started YouTube when they were young, like 17, 16, whatever, 18, and they've got massive YouTube channels now. I, I wish more than anything else that I started YouTube when I was like 13, 14 in school. Yeah, it wouldn't have done as well because I would have been a kid and I probably wouldn't have got as much view, I wouldn't have as many views and I probably wouldn't have been taken seriously and I would have been made fun of in school, but who cares? Like I would have been so much further ahead right now and uh, yeah, I can't recommend it more. Same person, what business do you recommend for teens? You just said it, YouTube. YouTube and affiliate marketing, okay? Just combine the two blow up on YouTube, okay? If you're on YouTube, you're probably around tons and tons of students or kids that have cool tech. So create a tech channel, reviewing tech, 
because everyone's getting the latest iPhones, the latest computers, the latest AirPods, the latest crepes, shoes, whatever, t-shirts. You know, make a channel about that. You can make a channel about shoes. You can make a channel about tech. You can make a channel about photography. You can make a, just a cool channel about high school, living in high school, life through high school. You can make a channel, literally, you know, your life in school and the ups and downs. You can make something like the in-betweeners. Oh, this, yeah, YouTube. Favorite place to go snowboarding? Um, my favorite place to go snowboarding is Port. I think it's called Port de Salol, in Switzerland slash France. This 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 range is six hundred and fifty kilometers. It's so big. It spans over two countries. That is my favorite destination for snowboarding. I drove there a couple of years ago. We were there for two weeks. It was just brilliant fun. That's when I tore my MCL, but it's still my favorite place. Mark Goodman, am I your best man at your wedding? <laughs> No, you are not my best man at my wedding. Um, the original one, how to supply big companies with my products? That's a great question. And it takes a lot of work, a lot of phone calls, a lot of just going in and hustling. I know someone who actually sells their products to TK Maxx, to airlines, they used to sell to Thomas Cook, but they sell to TK Maxx, they sell to like, different companies. And it's about connections, it's about speaking to the right people. LinkedIn is a great place to find these people. You know, just it's a really, really, really great place to find these people. So I would actually say that, yeah, you know, that's my answer. Go to LinkedIn and let me just get rid of that. Go to LinkedIn and, and just find people who are buyers for companies and message them. Um, okay, you know what I've got? It's been 11 and a half minutes, but I'm going to finish this. I've only got four questions. Pod needs patience. How many months did it take to get your first sale? Okay, so for me, it was a bit different because I did pod with advertising. So I got my first sale the next day. And if I didn't get a sale, I would stop with that t-shirt and move on to the next t-shirt. It did take me a few t-shirts. It took me about, I think it was like 20-ish or 30-ish t-shirts before I started getting sales with ads. Um, but because I did ads, it, I knew instantly whether or not I was gonna get sales. Um, so if you're not using ads, it could take a few months. It could take a few weeks. There's no telling how long it could take. Um, next question. What do you think is better, print on demand or Amazon? and why. I think Amazon is better and I've made a whole bunch of videos on this. In fact, instead of answering this question in detail here, I'm gonna just link up to there. If you want to find out which is better, print on demand or Amazon and why, I literally answer in so much detail down to every minuscule detail. So go and check that out up there. And, and that's it for this Q&A. So I wanna say thank you so, so much for watching this video. I really, really appreciate it. If you like to see more Q&As like this and you wanna get involved in Q&As like this, I generally ask the questions on, um, I, I, I get questions submitted on Instagram. So go and follow at shimmymorris1 and you can ask your questions there. Every so often I'll post a story saying, does anyone have any questions? And that's when all the questions come in and then I make a video on it. So if you wanna get your questions submitted, that is the way to do it. And again, if you like these videos, if you like the Q and A's, then let me know because, I mean, like I said in the last one, the reason I make these Q&As is because the whole point of this YouTube channel is that I can answer your questions, help you out. And by me making random videos, I don't know if that's something you wanna see, but with the q and I know it's what you wanna see because you're asking these questions. So just thank you so much for everyone who asked the question and hopefully I'll see you in the next video.